Hi, I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World and it is December. I love December, I love the end of the year, I love the holidays, and I love the new year. So this is a very, very happy time of the year for me. So let's just jump in and show you the new Ami Club pattern for the month because I made him especially with December in mind. Um, I know this is a busy time of year where a lot of people don't have a ton of time for extra crafting, so I made somebody who's going to be super fast and easy to stitch up. This is Milo the mouse, and I was definitely thinking like not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse, so I wanted to get a little bit of holiday in there, although he is not specifically a holiday pattern. He is just an everyday mouse, but he is very, very cute, really, really easy to stitch up. His arms are crocheted in and his ears are crocheted in. So for those of you who don't really enjoy the sewing part, the only thing you have to sew is to attach his head to his body. So he's really easy to make. And if you wanted to make him extra super fast, you don't have to give yours a contrasting tummy. So that adds a little extra time for the, the cutting and cha color changing. But you could make this, you could probably, I'm a pretty slow stitcher, but for some of you guys who I know are super fast stitchers, you might even be able to stitch this guy up in like an hour if you're not doing the cut and change. With the cut and change, I think this one took me about three hours to stitch once I got the pattern figured out. So this is Milo the mouse, and he is the new Ami Club pattern for the month. So as far as what else is going on in December, I don't usually release a lot of new stuff in November and December just because usually everybody's pretty much got figured out what they want to be making for the holidays and they don't want a bunch of new patterns or a bunch of new tutorials in there. So I do a lot of cleanup this month and I do a lot of planning for next year and I do a couple of free patterns for my holiday gifts to you guys. So, speaking of Milo Mouse, he is not a specifically holiday mouse, but I am going to have a pattern pretty early this month that shows how to make him a little Santa hat and a little Christmas tree. So, you'll be able to easily, the instructions will um, include details on how you can resize that hat, basically just keep following the pattern to make it bigger and bigger and wider to fit other stuffed animals, both crocheted stuffed animals or sewn stuffed animals. So this is going to be a really, really adaptable hat pattern that you can use to add a little Santa hat to any softy. And the same thing with the tree. Just by following the same increase pattern, you can make it any size that you like. But I'm going to be making it sized to work really nicely with Milo. And I am still really challenged about getting these people to look at the camera. So that's coming as a new free crochet pattern that you can do with any of your amigurumi. And I'm also going to do, every year I do a new holiday applique pattern. So I've got, right now I've got Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus, and I've got a reindeer, and I've got a snowman, and all of those are sized on 10 inch blocks so that you can mix and match them together. And I've seen people make wall hangings and gift bags and um, table runners and things like that. So I'll be adding a new block to that collection this year and I don't even know what it is yet. I've got a couple of ideas but I'm still sketching them out. So I'm hoping to have that out by the middle of the month also. And one more thing that's coming that's kind of a holdover from last month. I had planned to do a video on how to make the play clothes shirt for the dress up bunch dolls and I got really really sick and actually completely lost my voice for a little over a week where I couldn't even make a sound so all video video recording was out and then there was a family emergency and then we went to Hong Kong and then I was jet lagged and so I haven't gotten that done so that's gonna come this month as well but that's probably the only new tutorial video that's gonna come this month except for some continuing videos for the bears in the hills for the fancy stitch embellishment for those hills so those are gonna keep coming this month but other than that I'm really in planning mode so this is a good time for you guys to throw some requests at me. If you're in Ami Club and you have a specific animal that you're hoping that uh, we'll make a pattern for, let me know. There's no guarantees. Sometimes people tell me something and I'm like, I have no idea how to make that shape. Um, and I may be nibbling away at it throughout the year, but sometimes somebody sends something and I'm like, oh my gosh, why didn't I ever think of making a hedgehog? So throw out any requests that you have for different animals. And uh, on a related note, I've been thinking about doing a Block of the Month Club again this year for quilters, which I've done in the past, and they've all been themed together so that 
uh, you have one big finished quilt. So like the houses, the shiny happy houses was originally a block of the month club. And um, we also did a stars block of the month club. And I'm thinking of doing one this month that's a little bit different, maybe a little bit more like Ami Club, where members would get uh, a discount on certain patterns every month, just like the Ami Club members get. They have four old previous Amigurumi patterns that are on sale for 50% off every month. So it's a really great deal. So I've been thinking of doing something similar to that for a quilt block of the month where they get a discount on certain patterns um, from previous releases and also doing just a new block pattern every month but not necessarily blocks that will tie into a specifically themed quilt. So what I'm looking at, what I'm thinking about doing are the kind of random animals that don't necessarily go with other animals or that might go with other animals but might not all go together themselves. So for example I did a panda block pattern last year and I never did a quilt, a full quilt with pandas and other things because there's not a whole lot of other animals that to me go along with pandas. And pandas are awesome enough on their own that you could do a whole quilt that's just pandas. So I might do a hedgehog block. I've never done a hedgehog and that could be done all on its own. It could be mixed into the woodland critters quilt. It could be mixed into the wildflowers quilt. Or you could just make tote bags or table runners or things like that, things that you could make with individual block patterns. So right now I'm thinking that it would all be animals. So I probably wouldn't do flowers or houses or anything inanimate. It would all be animals, so it would all be faces, so that you could put them together into a quilt, all of just all of the block of the month designs, or you could mix them in with other ones. So I'm thinking about that. Let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in. You could just reply in the comments here or send me an email. My email address is smile at shinyhappyworld.com. Um, tell me if you'd be interested and also if there are specific animals you're looking for. I've got kind of a running list that people have sent me in the past and some of them don't really go very well with other ones like frogs. Like a lot of people have asked for a frog block and I... I don't have enough ideas yet for a whole like pond life quilt, but I might do just a frog block and that would be super cute. So if there's specific animals that you're interested in, let me know. And if you're just interested in the idea in general, but don't have specific requests, let me know that too. I'm trying to just gauge some interest. I've never done a block of the month exactly like this before. So uh, I'm just trying to figure out if that's something that you guys would be interested in. So I've got some other things that are brewing under the surface, but nothing that I'm ready to really talk about yet. I've also got possibly a big announcement coming later this month. Um, I may be doing a book with somebody, um, but I can't say any details about that yet. And um, what else? Oh, and there's going to be a little bit of a website redesign. Not anything huge, but I'm working behind the scenes with my developer. Just a couple of things. A couple of people have asked if we can make the font size a little bit bigger, and I want to make the front, the home page load faster. All the other pages on the site load really fast, but that home page is really slow. So we're going to redesign the home page, do a couple of little things like that. So all of that is brewing behind the scenes. It's not very exciting as far as new releases of new patterns and new tutorials and things like that. But I know this is a month where a lot of you guys are already hunkered down working on things that you already have plans for. So in January, that is when all of us crafty people are ready for new stuff and new challenges and learning new things. So I'm spending December getting ready for all the fun new stuff to come in January. So that is it, and I will see you next month. Have a fabulous December, everybody. I love, have fun celebrating whatever you celebrate this time of year. Everybody's celebrating something, and I will see you in January. Bye.